The Vatican announced on Saturday it has renewed its 2018 deal with China on the appointment of Catholic bishops for an additional two years. The, re the agreement was renewed without change by the two sides. The provisional agreement between the Vatican and China was first signed in September 2018 and renewed for another two years in October 2020. The terms of the deal have not been made public, but the announcement of the renewal was accompanied by an interview with Cardinal Perlin, the Vatican Secretary of State, who expressed the intention to pursue further development of bilateral relations. Today, Pope Francis will join other religious leaders at a prayer service for peace at Rome's Colosseum. The prayer meeting is part of a three-day interreligious summit called the Cry for Peace, organized by the community of Sant'Egidio. Sant'Egidio has held an international conference on the subject of peace every year since 1986, when St. Pope John Paul II convened the first World Day of Prayer for Peace in Assisi, Italy. In his Sunday Angelus, Pope Francis warned the faithful against spiritual arrogance. It is easy, he said, to follow on how others see us, rather than how we are ourselves trapping ourselves in narcissism. The Pope warned that where there is too much I, there is too little God. In his address, Pope Francis also invited Catholics to sustain missionaries with prayer and solidarity on World Mission Sunday. With the click on a tablet in front of a crowd gathered in St. Peter's Square, Pope Francis became the first person to register for the next World Youth Day in Lisbon, Portugal. The Pope announced that registration is now open for World Youth Day 2023, the largest international gathering scheduled to take place the first week of August. The Holy Father invited all the world's young people to register to this event to discover the joy of fraternal embrace between peoples and between generations, which we need so much. Pope Francis talked with French President Emmanuel Macron for nearly an hour at the Vatican on Monday. They discussed the war in Ukraine with special attention to the humanitarian situation. The meeting also covered the region of the Caucasus, the Middle East, and Africa, the Holy Father said. The French president's papal audience was the third with Pope Francis.